Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my first update on my Project Pan 2020. So uh, this year Kat and I are using the hashtag Team Project Pan 2020 to connect with other panners. So if you're also doing a Project Pan, um, whether you're doing one that's exactly like ours or you've tweaked it to suit your um, personal panning preferences. Um, if you use the hashtag Team Project Pan 2020, uh, you can connect with other YouTubers who are doing the same thing. Uh, the hashtag is also being used over on Instagram. Um, so you can click on the hashtag and see everyone who's getting involved. Um, now I am going to take you through my products, show you my progress, but I am seeing the sheer amount of shit that is on my desk and usually what I would do is take you through my empties first and then go through progress of other items but I don't even know where to fucking start so I'm gonna start from the start I'm gonna start at the top of my list and I'm gonna work my way down because I think that's the only way that's gonna be easy for me also camera stop being orange Are we better now camera Are we good sort your shit out for fuck's sake all right, my primer. This face, I'll get into it. Kiehl's Glow Formula Skin Hydrator. So it was 62.93 grams, now 62.1 grams. Um, I'm a bit confused about this product, um, or I was at least while I was using it. I'm like, it's meant to be a glowy primer, but then I read the back of it and I'm like, well, can actually be used as a moisturizer. Uh, mix it in with your foundation, put it on before foundation. It. It's like, do basically do whatever the fuck you want with it. Um, and I think my issue with it is like, I, I have to use a, a face oil um, and then a moisturizer for hydration because my skin is dry then I go in with a sunscreen um, and at that point my skin is pretty slick I got I got a lot of shit on my face not a lot it's three layers but it's all about hydrating and moisturizing and then when I go in with this I'm like that that's a lot it's like putting a moisturizer on over a sunscreen that you put on over a moisturizer like that's exactly what it is basically so it's a lot and I think what I need to do with this is instead of using a moisturizer followed by sunscreen followed by this I need to use my face oil this and then a sunscreen so at the moment I'm like mm. but I think there is a better way for me to use this in my routine I'm gonna try that out if I don't like it next month I'm just getting rid of it Next is my foundation. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Active Foundation. Um, I don't love this. I don't love it. It's not. It's not very good for dry skin. Um, it. Uh, it's a funny one. It's meant to be like long lasting, right? It's for being active and all that shit it's meant to like last through sweat and oil and all that stuff now I first used this when I had oily skin and it doesn't hold up all right it does not hold up with oil you've got to babysit it but it also doesn't hold up on dry skin it's like my skin starts to just eat it um, it's disgusting I don't really like it but I'm also in a position where if I take this out I don't know what else to put in its place because I don't know my foundation collection anymore. I have um, a couple of foundation, two that I can think of in my stash that I really, really like and I like would happily use every day, but they're kind of my backup foundations at the moment because as I play with things in my stash, if I put it on and I go, whoa, no, this, is, this needs to go, this is never gonna work for me, then I, fall back onto one of those foundations that I know works for me because I can't be sitting here for hours putting on foundation taking it off putting it on taking it off trying to find out what works for me in my stash this 
works but it doesn't work well and at this point I'm like halfway through it there is an air bubble in there it used to weigh low well, when I introduced it it weighed 38.77 grams and now it weighs 31.78 grams so I have been using it um, and I think I can easily get through it but I'm not loving it however I'm not willing to swap it out because I've I'm scared that if I swap it out with something else I'm just going to be doing the same thing next month. I don't like this foundation. It's easier for me to use this a bit slower and try other foundations and try to get a balance of what's working for me. Okay, concealer, Tarte Shape Tape. I also don't like this. It's not suitable for dry skin. Not mine anyway. Uh, it was 23.15 grams, now 21.84 grams. I'm scraping the sides. Like, you can see I'm scraping the sides. Um, and uh, every time I pull it out, there's really not much on the end here. Usually it's like got a little pool of product. Um, so that tells me once I finish scraping the sides, I can take the stopper out. I'm close to finishing it. I want to finish it. I don't want to swap it out at this point because my concealers are the same as my foundations. I don't know what works for me. Essence Mattifying Compact Powder, you might think. You shouldn't be able to use a mattifying powder with dry skin. It actually works just fine. And I've been loving it and I hit pan on it. So I introduced this uh, at 43.82 grams. It's now 39.87 grams. For now, I'm just going to run off the, the pan, the pan shape. Um, I don't know if I will continue to weigh it. I don't think I will. I think I'll just run off pan because pan, pan looks great. My uh, Power 10, sorry, It's Skin Power 10 Formula Vitafol Mist. So I was here, I'm now down here. My God, it is like 43 degrees in Australia. No, or in Melbourne today. I'm sure it's cooler in other areas. And I am just going ham with this and with the fan. Oh God, I wish I had aircon in this room. But then again, I wouldn't be able to use it because the room is so small and it would be noisy as hell. This works. This combination works. I like this mist. I'm happy to use it. I'll definitely be able to finish it by the next update. Um, and then I will introduce something new. Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. So this was 359.49 grams. It's now 358.8 grams. Um, I have been going hard on lo-fi. It's got a dip going on in it. Don't know if you'll be able to see it. Um, I've been using it as a bronzer. Everything else, um, look, the, the blushes, these two here, nah, not interested in them whatsoever. Um, the highlighters, potentially interested in this one and this one and um o the oc oc is nice um but i'm just not really focusing on it at the moment because i'm trying to also focus on my becca palette but yeah this is this is pretty much where all of the hard work has been done with this palette speaking of the becca palette I'm very proud of myself I hit pan in uh, rose gold, which is great. I already had pan in moonstone. I have been using, uh, where are you, flower child down here and wild honey as a blush. And occasionally I use topaz as like today I wore it as an inner corner highlight. Um, look, I, I just want to finish these two. That's all I want to do. The rest, like, I'm happy to get rid of it. I'm... I don't need it in my life. Did I say the weight about this? No, I didn't. So it was 76.03 grams. It's now 75.52 grams. There you go. Gold Gaga, where are ya? Where are ya at? All right, here we go. Australis Gold Gaga. Um, this was 11.65 grams. It's now 11.62 grams. Um, so I've got a little bit of pan in the corner. I've been basically mushing the pan around for the whole time that I've been using this. This goes so fucking far. It just, it is the product that never ends. Um, but I am determined to finish it. Also, I've got to say, like I've been working on this product three years, right? And um, it hasn't dried out. 
in the whole time that I've been using it, it hasn't dried out. I've never once added anything to this to rehydrate it. I'm pretty sure they discontinued these metallics. It's a shame. I like it. MAC Painterly Paint Pot. So this was 55.37 grams. It's now 55.07 grams. So I used 0.3 of a gram. There it is. Um, I just use it as an eye primer. I really like it as an eye primer. So I will keep going. I will keep going until I finish it or it dries out. Whichever happens first. My eyeliner is the Elizabeth Arden Beautiful Color Bold Defining 24 Hour Liquid Eyeliner in Plum Desire. So this was... Where is it on my list? Uh, 8.74 grams. It's now 8.66 grams. So there we go. I've had that one for a long time. I do want to get through it, but I like it. I'm wearing it today. Um, I like purple eyeliner, so I'm happy to keep going with that. My eye pencil is the Catrice Liquid Metal Gel Eye Pencil. This is in the shade Black Stage. Uh, it's not black. It's grey. It's grey. Definitely not black. It's like a shimmery metallic grey. Um, so this one was 6.2 grams. It's now 6.18 grams. I did not use it very often, clearly. My mascara, this is the Mecha Max Wink Ink. It was 20.94 grams. It's now 20.57 grams. I really like this mascara. It's nice. Um, I like a mascara that helps to lengthen lashes and sort of define them without clumping them together. This, it does it. It does it for me. I'm down with it. I'm enjoying it. I will keep going with that until it decides it's done. Okay, finally we get to the part where I have an empty. Finally. Um, okay, Benefit Brow Contour Pro. So I was only working on, was it the lighter shade or the darker shade? I don't know, one of them. Um, I finished one the previous month and then I finished one this month. Um, so it's done. It's all finished. I have another one of these in my stash. Um, I didn't finish the highlighter or the definer shades, so they're the two lighter shades, but I'll never use them. So why bother? Why bother? And I am replacing that product with two products. Uh, the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tints in Fling and Lingering. So these are the ones with the pen tip and the weird... Um, powder stuff at the bottom with the weird fucking chunky applicator. I don't know. Honestly, this needs to be an angled brush. Like, did, just... Ugh, come on, guys. That's, this is like trying to apply brow product with your pinky finger. It's dumb. It is dumb. I don't know why they didn't just make this a little angled brush to apply the powder. Then I'd probably use it. But I'm not going to because they didn't do that. So my goal is to just use the pen fluid tips. My next product is the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. So this was 17.33 grams, it's now 17.29 grams. And I like it. It's a really good like clear brow setting product. It really holds the brows in place. Um, it's just, I would say that it, it's not a step that I always remember to do. I have to sort of keep this one front and center so I see it when I'm applying my makeup. Colourpop Lippy Pencil in Beeper. So this was 6.64 grams. It is now 6.56 grams. I did not use it a lot at all. I will explain a little bit more why soon. Um, but I did put it on today and I paired it with the lipstick that is in um, this project, which is this guy. It's the Rimmel Rock and Roll Nude shade. So this was 15.16 grams. It's now 14.98 grams. Pair these together. Gorgeous. Um, this lipstick on its own though, I'm actually not super duper keen on the color. So you can see it's quite pink. Um, but when I pair it with the lip liner, it really brings it down to a beautiful nude. So, and while I'm here, I'm going to be very good and I'm going to reapply 
good thing about that Rimmel lipstick as well is that it they're not drying they're a cream lipstick they're very comfortable for me to wear so I can actually wear it but where I really like where I put most of my energy when it came to lip products this month was the Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lip. This is the one in Granita. Um, I finished it. So let's try and zoom in there or get a close up. So you can see there's still product down here, um, but I've scraped out all of the sides. I even pulled out the stopper. Now the issue is when you put this brush in, it doesn't actually go all the way to the end. Uh, so you, you can't get at that product. Um, I did try like standing it upside down. Two days it stood upside down and it didn't budge. So I was like, I'm not putting in any effort. I'm not scraping it out for, a, what are these? Seven US dollars, six US dollars? No, I have enough lip products. I don't need to scrape out the dregs at the bottom. So I finished that one. Um, but, <laughs> so I worked on this for two weeks and that's all it took me to use it up. Um, before that, I was working on another ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. This is in the shade Dreamaholic. Again, I got it to the point where it's like just that bit. Focus, focus. Just this bit at the end. Um, I know it looks looks like it goes up to about here, but it doesn't. Um, I don't know if I can really... I don't know. This one's a bit more opaque, so it's difficult to see. But again, the brush doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. I like scraped it out, pulled the stopper out. So in a month, I actually went through two ultra glossy lips. Um, I also finished a lip balm. Um, and somewhere, which is my next product, uh, this is the Linda Holberg Blossom Oil. Um, so this one, I only made a little bit of progress on. So I was here and it's now down here. Um, this one I hope to finish in February. So there we go. These kind of products, they're really easy for me to go through because there is not a second of the day where I don't have something hydrating on my lips. Before I move on from lip products, um, I will say I'm not going to introduce another lip gloss just yet. I'll introduce one next month. Um, I just want to take time to focus on the Linda Holberg Blossom Oil. And also I want to um, have a little bit of like free time when it comes to trying makeup rather than trying to focus on something. Um, just to try some other things in my stash. I want to do like a little bit of a, um, a clear out of my lip products. Um, so yeah, I need to, I need to not be focusing on multiple lip products to comfortably do that. Otherwise it stresses me out. I'm like, I'm not making progress anywhere. Nail polish. This is my Ciate Mini in Couture. So it was full when I introduced it and it is now here. Someone did ask me, um, how I pan traditional nail polishes. They mentioned that like, you know, they can wear their nail polish for like a week or 10 days or something like, so how do you like go through it so quickly? Nail polish doesn't even last 24 hours on my nails. So that's how I go through it so quickly. It doesn't matter how well I prep my nails. If it is a traditional nail polish, like one you remove with nail polish remover, they don't last on my nails. It just chips right off. So if I don't want to have chipped nails, I have to take it off and reapply. So it's really easy for me to go through nail polishes if I focus on them. There comes a point where it gets really frustrating because I don't want to be reapplying nail polish every day or every second day. Um, so usually what I try to do is focus on a nail polish and then I just go back to gels for, you know, three months or six months and then back to a nail polish. Um, I do think it's really strange that nail polish doesn't last on my fingernails because on my toes, that stuff will stay there until it grows out. It is the strangest thing. I don't understand the nail chemistry and the toenail chemistry. Why are you different? Why aren't you the same? You annoy the shit out of me, both of you. Perfume. Okay, so I've got a gripe with this. This is the, um, what are you, DKNY Cool Swirl. So when I introduced it, there wasn't too much left. It was here, it's now down here. 
what I discovered about this is that the you can't see it but the the little like tube that goes down and like sucks the perfume up it doesn't come down to the bottom of the actual bottle so it's going to get to a point and it doesn't like curve so it gets down there or anything it just sort of stops short almost around where the perfume is sitting now um so when i use it i have to like hold it perfectly straight and be like oh there we go that's a good one that's a good one if i have it on an angle it just like splatters at me and it's kind of pissing me off um so i yeah i i need to check my other ones to see if they also do. i'm gonna do it now hang on so of the four of these that i have different scents obviously but same range um one of them has a curved tube so it goes right to the bottom one looks like it stops just ever so slightly above the bottom of the bottle and two of them look like they're cut short so i'm gonna just mm, i'm gonna focus on them this year i'm gonna get them out of my stash and i probably won't buy another one again because that annoys me um so i know that this eventually i'm not going to be able to get product out of it and i think that will definitely happen in february and um, I want to get a jump on the next perfume that I've actually been working on this. Oh, I've had it for so long. Like, it's old as the hills. It's nostalgic as fuck. It's, I can't even tell you how many bottles of it I've purchased. Um, it's Ralph by Ralph Lauren. I don't have much in this. I was kind of working on it last year and also through January this year in conjunction with the other fragrances that I'm using. Like, my, I've got my Project Pan one. I've got some samples, I've got um, like my favorite favorites, and then I've got other ones that I'm like, you know, these are what I wanna focus on. But this is the next one on the chopping block. You can see how much I have there. I did, I put it on the table, I let it rest, I marked it, but that's my mark. Um, yeah, so I that's the next one to go. Next product is my body product. This was so easy. This is the More Mon Ami Adele Luminous Body Milk. Um, I just, I powered through it. It was there. I think it took me not even a week to use because it's very thin. If you like, um, let's say you like a little bit of shimmer on your body, but not glitter, and you are going out for an evening or a day and you're going to have skin showing this is a perfect type of product for that because the actual milk it's thin so it allows you to really smooth out the shimmer well the shimmer is not glittery it's like a glow on the skin and the milk absorbs really quickly it doesn't leave you greasy or slick or anything like that um, and you know during summer that's when you have a lot of skin showing and that's when I personally like to use these types of products, these shimmery ones. Um, but if you use it like the uh, ColourPop ones, for example, where they've got, um, it's like a body oil with shimmer, you're like, you're sweating and you're greasy and you're sticky. It's the most disgusting feeling ever. Um, so yeah, I prefer this type of thing. I don't know if they still make them, um, but I think it's a great product. I loved it. I'm replacing that with a brand new body moisturizer. This is the Jergens Deep Restoring Argan um, mo Moisture Oil in What? Jergens Oil Infused Deep Restoring Argan Body Moisturizer. There you go. I haven't even opened it yet. So it's brand spanking new. It is full to the brim. Uh, so that's the one that's going into the project. I thought it would be interesting to see how many months it takes me to finish that up. My skincare products were sheet masks and I am going to keep going with that for a little while longer. Um, so I had four sheet masks in the project. I finished three. I'm annoyed at myself for not finishing the fourth. You know why I'm annoyed? Because I actually used four sheet masks in January. I used one a week um, and I can't find the fourth one that I finished up. I should have just used this. I'm 
I'm an idiot. So that's the one that I didn't use up. Um, I have the Olay Magna Mask Infusions. I did not like this. Um, this is just, this is basically a sheet mask with Olay face moisturizer on it. I, I did not understand it. I have a packet of these, uh, like a whole box. I'm going to declutter the rest. This is not this is not what I want out of a sheet mask. I want something that's like hyaluronic acid. I want serum. I want to be able to leave it on my skin for 15 minutes and feel cool and refreshed. Not like, why is there this thick, heavy cream that stinks like Olay on my face? I'm not a fan. This one was the Cellulose Sheet Mask by uh, Dodo Japan. Um, it's gremlin sheet mask it's very cute on the packaging but the inside was just normal sheet mask um and yeah it was fine it was fine but not i wouldn't you know repurchase it this one was the secret key uh starting treatment essence sheet mask i actually used two of these and i can't find my other one i don't i don't know where it went but anyway um these are really nice i've got a whole bunch of them i'm going to use them up they're great. I am introducing three new sheet masks. I'm keeping this guy in there. Bloody use it, Hayley. Um, I have the Esfolio Red Ginseng Essence Mask Sheet. I have the Benton Snail Bee High Content Mask Pack. These are great. I've used heaps of them. And I have the Yet Snow White Mask. So this is a brightening mask. I'm hope oh God, I'm dropping things. My desk is covered in crap. Um, I'm hoping this one... I am, look, I'm going to be careful with this one. If it irritates my skin, it's coming straight off. Um, but I'm hoping that it will help to, like, just brighten things up. Because my skin, you know, it's doing good, but still got problems. And my hair product is the Nature Box Secret Repair Cream. Um, I did use this, but I didn't bother marking it because it's, like, down here. I only used it a couple of times. I was focusing a little bit more on uh, samples. So next are my samples. Um, let's talk about sample that I had not a good experience with. These are the, I actually had a not a good experience with another sample as well. Anyway, these are the Glam Glow Glow Starter um, moisturizers. Now I have two here. I think I have a third one of these. I put one in my project pan, but as soon as I realized that this breaks me out, I gathered these two because they're going, they're being decluttered. I will see if mum wants to try them, otherwise they're fucking going in the bin because I'm not interested. Then I have two samples that I didn't use. Story of my life. Uh, MAC Prep and Park, blah, 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 blah. MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Base in uh, Radiant Yellow and also the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation. I, I, need to, I need to wear makeup more, clearly, so I can try them. Um, one that I did use was ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Magic Wand. This is gorgeous with a gloss over the top. Um, so... I'm keeping it in there for now and it's a, a tiny little sample so you know let me keep it because I'm probably going to declutter every single one of my Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip full sizes because I can't realistically wear them that often. Okay the next sample I mm, my god this was a bad time uh this is the uh Perito Vitamin C Serum sachet so I had three of these and burnies burnt my skin it's too active for me I can't use this I in the past I have had experiences where some vitamin C products are too strong and they burn my skin this is one of them so what I did was I swapped out the other two samples of that that I wasn't able to use and I put these in instead. Uh, these are the Perito uh, Centella Green Level Buffet Serum. So this is like a Centella um, serum. And I used both of them. I do like this. This is good. This is good and safe. Uh, but I finished those three. Body and hair samples. I have the Nooks Hill Prodigy Ore Oil. So I did use a bit of this. I did not finish it. This is going sort of 
back to this product. This is the sort of thing where I would wear it out like on a day or an evening when I've got my legs showing. I would put it on, you know, my legs for a bit of glow and hydration. But I'm not really going out that much. Um, and when I have been, it, it seems like it's the hottest fucking day on the face of the earth and the last thing I want to do is put an oil on myself because I know I'm going to be sweating like a pig. So there hasn't been that many opportunities to use it and I'm not going to just put it on my body after a shower to then jump in bed and get gold shimmery oil all over my bed sheets. But I'll get there because it's a nice product and when I did use it, I really enjoyed it. Then I have the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil. It's almost done, nearly done. This was the one I was kind of focusing most on along with the Whey Finishing Cream. So there's about half a tube there. So keeping them in, I'll keep going with them. This and this I like, but I'm not 100% obsessed with them. I'm not like, oh my God, I can't live without it once I finish those samples. Uh, and since I finished, four samples and or finish three and I'm throwing away one I'm introducing four more uh, Dermalogica Skin Perfect Primer um, and the Gold Fadden Vital Boost Even Skin Tone Daily Moisturizer L'Occitane Mortel Divine Cream and the Ren Evercalm uh, Ultra Calming ultra comforting rescue mask so they're the samples that i want to focus on over the month of february i'll declutter anything that i don't like i'll try and finish up things that i do like and i'll roll over anything that i can't finish all right guys so that's it for me today i hope you enjoyed this video feel free to leave your comments down below and i will see you in the next one bye